So a long and tricky question here. You plan to do three dives in a day. The first dive will be 100 feet for 20 minutes. The second dive will be 60 feet for 35 minutes. The third will be 40 feet for 70 minutes. Assuming you take the minimum surface interval required between each dive, how long will it take from the start of the first dive to the end of the last dive to complete this series? You can ignore ascent and descent times but not required safety stop times. So I'm drawing up the uh, three dive diagram uh, that we use when we're doing table based questions. Uh, and this time I need to edit it a tiny bit to the one you might be familiar with already. This whole not required safety stop times. I need to make sure that somewhere on my diagram I can note down which dive has a required safety stop. So that is what you're seeing right here going on my uh, diagram is the required safety stop notation. So now what we can do is enter in from the question the uh, depths and times we've got. So the first dive is 100 feet for 20 minutes. We can enter that in. The second dive is 60 feet for 35 minutes. We can enter that in, making sure we put the 35 minutes next to actual bottom time. And then the 40 foot for the third dive, and again next to actual bottom time, we're going to put our 70 minutes. Uh, and now we've got all the information from the question, we can start working it. So the first dive is 100 feet for 20 minutes. That's the first two bits of information we're going to use. And we're going to find out whether what pressure group we're going to end up in. Uh, and we're also going to note down whether it is a dive that has a required safety stop. So 100 feet for 20 minutes puts us in pressure group O. And then this required safety stop, uh, basically any time you're in a grey box uh, or a black box, uh, then the safety stop is required. So in this situation it is a required safety stop. So we'll note down the three on our safety stop notation. So it's pressure group A, O, and a uh, three minute safety stop is required. So now looking at the next blank we have, it is a surface interval uh, and then a pressure group. What we actually have to do is jump across now to the second dive and take the depth of the second dive and the time of the second dive uh, and use that to work out what pressure group we would need to be in. So it's a 60 foot dive and we want to go for 35 minutes. So scrolling across, looking at the numbers in blue, the underwater numbers for uh, 35 or uh, greater, in this case it's greater, 36 minutes. That tells us we need to be in pressure group F at the start of that second dive. So we can enter that in on our diagram. Um, but before we do that, let's look at one other thing. Whilst we're doing this, this pressure group F we just found, another bit of information we're going to need is the residual nitrogen time. So we may as well take that as well and put that in on our diagram. So we know we need to be in pressure group F at the beginning of the dive. And we know that if we are in pressure group F, that our residual nitrogen time will be 19 minutes. So now we've got that information, we can go back and actually work out what this minimum surface interval would be. We start the dive in pressure group, uh, start the surface interval in pressure group O, and we need to get to pressure group F. How do you get from pressure group O to pressure group F? Well, that is the surface interval credit part of the table, and we can find that the range of the surface interval we need, and of course we're just focusing in on that minimum surface interval. So uh, that is what we will now do and take across and put into our diagram. So with the surface interval of 48 minutes now entered in on our diagram, we can continue working, seeing where the next blank is, its total bottom time. Well, thankfully we thought ahead and actually noted down the residual nitrogen time, so that's a simple addition. Uh, and we've now got a 54 minute total bottom time uh, on a dive to 60 feet. Uh, from that we're going to be able to find out whether we need to do a safety stop or not and what our ending pressure group at the end of the dive would be. So, we've got 60 foot column there, and 54 minutes, that puts us in a pressure group V, and that is indeed a dive that requires a safety stop, so 
on our diagram, we can now note down that it does require a safety stop and it leaves us in pressure group V. So looking across to the right, uh, we've got two blanks uh, and then we've got a depth. So we're going to use that depth and our planned dive time, our actual bottom time of 70 minutes to work out what pressure group we would need to be in at the beginning of that dive. So it was a dive to 40 feet. And the dive time we want was 70 minutes. So we're going to ground up to 71 and find that we're in pressure group P. And at the same time, we're just going to quickly note what our residual nitrogen time will be to save time uh, as we're going through this exercise. So 69 minutes of residual nitrogen time. So we can put those two bits of information in on our diagram. And now we can find out how long our surface interval needs to be. We need to get from pressure group V to pressure group P. So using the surface interval credit table, uh, we can quickly and easily find out how long we would have to spend on the surface if we start our surface interval in pressure group V and, what and ending it in pressure group P. So looking at that range, the minimum amount of time is 21 minutes. So with the 21 minutes there, we can now uh, total up our actual bottom time and our residual nitrogen time to find the total bottom time of the third dive. And now we can use that information, the 139 minutes of total bottom time and the depth of 40 feet. And actually all we need to do is find out whether a safety stop is required at on the third dive. Uh, so 40 feet scrolling down till we find uh, whether our total bottom time is going to fall within one of these gray boxes that denotes a safety stop is required it certainly does so a safety stop is indeed required on the uh, third dive as well we now have all of the information that we need to gather from the table to answer this question what we now need to do is get out a calculator and add up the times the 20 minutes of the first dive plus the three minutes of the safety stop plus the 48 minute surface interval then the second dive was 35 minutes be careful make sure you're grabbing the right number the actual bottom time not total bottom time then there was a three minute surface in safety stop on the second dive a 21 minute surface interval between the second and third dive the third dive is 70 minutes actual bottom time always take actual bottom time not total bottom time and a three minute safety stop on the third dive gives us a 203 minute uh, series of dives. So that was the final example question in my examples uh, for the RDP table. What you may now want to do if you are viewing this video on the website www.goboacaribbean.com then you may well want to take the quiz just scroll down the page and you should find it there if you've randomly happened upon this video on youtube what i recommend you do is go to www.goprocaribbean.com uh, and then look for the dive theory section in the dive theory section you should find rdp and uh, rdp table and that's where you can find a practice quiz to uh, test your understanding of everything you need to know regarding the paddy rdp table